Hey guys, welcome back again today. Um, <laughs> so I just saw on Twitter via um, comic book news that Alan Richson has been cast as Hawk in the Titan series. <laughs> so, okay, hold on, hold on. Hi. Hi. So, um, hold on, hold on. That's not to be confused with Hawkman. This is a different DC character. Um, he's going to play Hawk, and there's um, going to be a duo. So Hawk and Dove is the duo. And they are a male-female couple. So um, I am not really familiar with these characters from DC. All I really know is what I read before making this video. But I wanted to make a video because I have made other videos about the cast of Titans um, recently. And I do hope to watch it, so um, I want to I want to you know keep up with what comes out about it, the announcements and stuff like that. So um, and also Alan Richardson was in Smallville. He was Aquaman in Smallville, which was pretty cool. So um, <clears throat> what I know about these characters upon reading the little bit of information that was in the article is that um, Hawk and Dove are a couple. A couple they're a duo. And that they have um, they have um, encountered and interacted with the Teen Titans on a number of occasions. So in the show, they're going to be um, since DC decided to include them on the show, they're going to have like some featured. You know, they're going to be featured in some episodes in season one, and then depending on how they are received by the audience, then they may be regulars on season two. So. Um, and also the description of the characters, Hawk is more of a aggressive, um, harsh type of character. And then Dove is supposed to be kind of his, like his, his, uh, balance. So she's more of a do good vigilante. Um, she's supposed to kind of balance him out. And, um, oh, was I gonna say? Oh, in the comics, um, Hawk and Dove have been portrayed as like a brother type of duo, but they, you know, later on in time, there have also been other iterations. So in the show, they're going to be a male female couple duo, not brothers. Um, I think it's pretty cool that they cast Alan Richardson as a part um, in Titans. I liked him as Aquaman in uh, Smallville. I. Uh, a pretty good job when he showed up in the earlier seasons but I preferred him um, more when they brought him back like around the season finale in season 10 series finale I'm sorry in season 10 um, I thought he was just a little bit more mature and I mean they all were it had been years since the first you know few seasons by that time but I kind of preferred him more towards you know the end of the show but I did like him as Aquaman and um, it's always cool to see um, actors and stuff that take on like DC or Marvel roles or whatever and then they come back and do they return for other DC roles it's always cool to see that whether it's in a show or a movie and it's pretty it's always cool to see that so um, that's pretty cool news and it'll also be interesting for me I'm like I said I'm not familiar with Hawk and Dove so it'll be interesting to see um, these characters that I don't know too much about it'll be interesting to see them on the show and see what they're about and everything um, so if you haven't seen my other video, um, about the cast of the Titan series, uh, watch that one. If you're interested in seeing more, um, I discuss who they have cast as Nightwing, Starfire, and Raven. So if you're planning on watching the show, if you're interested to see who has been cast so far, um, for those other characters, go ahead and head, watch that video as well. Um. Um, I think it's done a good job so far. Um, I did not. It didn't in the article. Um, it did not say who will be who is going to be playing Dove. So it just mentioned um, Alan Richardson as Hawk. So um, maybe they. I don't. I mean, I'm sure they probably would have been included in the article if they had cast who's going to play Dove. Um, don't take my word for it. Maybe they have cast her already. <laughs> but I. I mean, it would make sense to include who was playing her as well in this article if they have cast her already so um 
based on that, I don't think she has been cast yet, but we'll, we will see. Maybe she has, but I don't see why it wouldn't be included in the same article. So, um, yeah, that's been added to the Titan series. And um, I think there was something else I was going to talk about, but now I lost my thought. <laughs> um, so it's cool. it'll be cool to see another Smallville character on a TV show again. Um, I know that they also added um, Erica Drantz to um, Small Girl to play um, Kara's Kryptonian mom. So she took the part of the previous actress playing Kara's mom, um, Kryptonian mom. I don't remember the other actress's name, but Erica Durance will be Kara's Kryptonian mom in the next season, season three. Um, to be honest, I don't know if I'm going to watch um, season three of Supergirl. I, I, we did watch the full, all of season one. <coughs> season two, we kind of stopped watching it, like halfway through maybe I don't know something about it just doesn't captivate me like the way some of the other shows do like the flash um, I think the acting could be a little bit better um, some of the writing just didn't sit well with me I think that they kind of um, I mean I did I liked season two what I saw of season two better than season one when the show moved to CW from NBC but I don't know. I just think that they kind of, um, what's, what's a good way to describe it? They kind of dumb down her powers a little bit. Like, they don't make her, they don't portray her as powerful as she should be. Like, she's supposed to be more powerful than Superman. And there's just been parts of the show that it's like, why would she be having a hard time with that or struggling with that? Or even the season, uh, the season finale of, um, season one, when she's, you know, telling her sister and their team, she's telling her team that she's going to take this Kryptonian ship into outer space because she doesn't know what else to do with it. And they, um, her sister's like, how are you supposed to survive? You can't breathe in outer space or whatever. Like that just made me so mad. That turned me off away. That turned me off about the show. Just, she's not even human. She's Kryptonian, and you're saying that they're making her making it seem like she can't survive in outer space. Superman goes to outer space all the time. They're aliens. They're not human. They have, I mean, it just what? And then her ship had to come and save her. Like, okay, now I'm getting off topic. But anyway, <laughs> um, it is like I was saying. It's pretty cool to see that Erica Durant from Smallville, who played Lois Lane, will be on Smallville on uh, Supergirl. And um, so yeah. Anyway, back to the Titans topic. Um, looking forward to watching that. And also, since it'll be on DC's own streaming service, um, I wonder what else they will have for us to see on that streaming service. Um, so it'll be interesting to see what else they offer on their streaming service. And I think, like I had, like I mentioned in my other um, Titans series video, um, I think it's a good idea for them to have their own streaming service because it would allow for more um, control by DC, WB, whatever, um, as far as like content and you know what they want to see in the show. It allows for more of you know their control creative control since they're not having to please a um, a network and so I feel like maybe they can do more of what they want to do with this show in other words um yeah Buzz Lightyear cool son so that's another story that um broke out for today that I wanted to discuss um, are you planning on watching the Titan series? Um, who else would you like to see? Who else do you hope that they include on the show? Um, let me know. And um, how do you think they've done on the casting so far? Like I said, if you haven't seen my other video, go ahead and watch that one to find out more about the cast members. And um, I also will leave a link in the description to my new Patreon account. So if you're enjoying my content, go ahead and go over there, see what that's all about. And uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.